Hi, I'm Rose 59 Today I'm going to show you how to make a rustic magnet bottle opener. For this project, I will be using a scrap piece of rough cedar wood. As you can see here, I already started using a wire brush uh, that you can attach to your drill. Um, I've already done this part here. You can see how rustic it's starting to look. It's pulling all these soft grain out uh, with the wire brush and I just got this little section uh, here to do. And you also want to do all the edges and the sides as well. sandpaper and sand all the edges and the top and back all nice and smooth. Take your back template and place it on the back side of your wood and take your center punching tool and make a mark right in the center. Adding our hanger on the back, we just got to take the rest of the edges that are left off from the drilling the holes. Just so want to take your chisel and just line it up and just lightly press down. And as you can see, it just makes it a nice and square. Now we got a perfect fit. I've applied the stain to the back, the sides, and the edges as well. Now I just have my top to do. Now that we've given it a gray look, we're going to go ahead and give it more of that rustic look. And I'm just using some red paint. And I'm just dry brushing it on. Some areas you can do dark and some areas you do a bit lighter so it looks like it's been in the sun for a longer period of time and that the paint is slowly chipping away and fading. Now you want to take 320 grit sandpaper and lightly sand and as you're sanding you'll get some of the red paint off and you'll get more of a distressed look. For adding the clear coat, I have already added clear coat to the ends and the sides. Now I'm ready to do the top. For adding the magnet in, you want to place your magnet in already. And I just added a washer in there just to keep it holding it in a little bit better. And I've already mixed up my epoxy and now I'm pouring it in. And for the back, I added the keyhole hook and just added two screws in. Just have my last one here to tighten up. And now for the front, you place your template on top and grab your center punch and punch in the middle where the holes are. For attaching the opener, you want to screw in your two screws. And I just got my last one here to screw in. Thanks for checking out this video. All links are in the description below for this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this. Don't forget to share this video and post your comments below. Some of the best tips and feedback come from you. Thanks for watching.